All right, so this is the other garden back behind the pool building here. We're just gonna call this one the corner store, but I wanna have my roads going this way. And then uh, probably gonna, I have gonna plant them black raspberries I had over there that I had sitting in the sunny side. So one row of black raspberries and then probably rhubarb in here and just some odd flowers on this side. But, so I did that. Had the electric fencing on this side because I didn't have enough T-post to go all the way around. Because right now, because of the pandemic or whatever reason, you can't buy eight foot T-post at Tractor Supply right now. They're out and they can't get them in right now. So it's a vending issue. Now I could do these six footers they do have them, but I like to keep things consistent with everything I do. And these are eight foot, so they're about six feet tall. Um, yeah, and the reason why I didn't put, put them black raspberries over here is because the ground was super hard. And I want to do some prep work, you know, bring some mushroom soil, compost, and then till it all up. And I should get some pretty decent beds out, out over here. But yeah, that's what I'm doing with this garden bed. And these were, I just wanted to point this out real quick. These are the other primroses, evening primroses that I say were yellow. And like they're closed up right now, but they usually only open up at night. But they have a real unique scent to them too. And they're good for the if you ever have like a moon garden where you want to attract night pollinators, they're a pretty good one to add to your collection.